Well, they're very much in the mix. Obviously, um, they've maintained their challenge, which uh, was was something that maybe people suggested, but they didn't have the capacity to do. But uh, I've probably included in that list. But uh, uh, they've done really well. Had uh, a really strong season up to this point. Obviously, we get to the part of the season now where they really have to kick on. Probably the one failing they've had is that they haven't been able to really go up against the, the top teams in and around them and, and take um, really crucial points off them and really emphasise their, their credentials to, to the likes of Liverpool and, and so forth. So um, they'll understand that they're going through the period now where they really have to consolidate their, their title challenge and um, they certainly have the ability, uh, they have the capacity to do it because they've maintained it up to this point. But um, you just sense maybe the the key games they they will have to they'll have to win those games so rather than just uh, maybe look to the next one when uh, a game uh, goes away from them. Um, they've always had really technical players, players that can make a difference, and uh, um, their rotation and changing of positions that's what's difficult to cope with when when they're in full flow. So it's important that. Um, you're aware of their, their mobility and their rotation and um, how they could try and affect you in wider areas as well. So um, it's not just one key individual. They, they have game changers and game winners and within their ranks that even if they're not playing particularly well, they can they can still produce uh, moments of magic that take games away from teams. So you have to be wary of that. Um, I think um, you have to make sure that uh, the key individual that on the day are having an effect on the game. Um, it's up to you to try and quell their influence if you can. And um, it's not easy because on any given Saturday they can have four or five players really playing at the top of their ability. And if you have that, then it's it's difficult to to stop them having a positive effect on the game. But that's the challenge of the Premier League. I think I think there's possibly stronger challenges um, and stronger teams that uh, could take it away from them, but like I said, they, they've done really well up to this point to, to maintain that challenge and um, it wouldn't surprise me if they, they're able to, to go right to the to the wire. I think everybody anticipates that it's going to be really close this year and it's likely to go to the, the last weekend, I would suggest. Um, yeah, I, I, th I think all managers, myself included, uh, we all have uh, Maybe grounds or teams that you go up against them, and maybe you, you don't enjoy the experience. And I'm not going to tell you who mine is, but, uh, <laughs> but um, maybe we seem to be one of those teams or one of those venues that uh, Arsenal in the past have had a problem with. It's up to us to make sure that continues, obviously, because you're only, you're only able to continue uh, that irritation if you play well and, and you perform to your ability against the uh, teams of the quality of Arsenal. So we'll look to do that. It's important that. Uh, we continue to have good form at home because that's that's been a real strength of ours uh, this season. And if we continue in the same vein, then obviously that will mean we'll we'll get a good performance against Arsenal. Uh, Thomas is a very valued member of the, the squad here, and um, his situation is, is one that um, uh, obviously will be reviewed at the correct time. At the moment, it's it's not one that. Uh, We've looked at, uh, it's fair to say, but uh, um, as I said, Tom's is an exceptional goalkeeper. Um, he has a, a real definite role here, in, in my view, and uh, um, I would imagine um, if you allow a, a keeper of Thomas's ability to go, then uh, uh, then you have to make sure the reasons to allow him to leave are valid ones. And, uh, at the moment, I can't see any reason why we would want that to happen. But uh, um, like I said, he's uh, he's a player that's well thought of here, and uh, uh, as, both as a as a player and as an individual as well. So uh, um, it's important that we recognise that. I think when we when we get the, our fans something to shout about, then there's there's no deep better to to back a team, in my view, um, I think going up against the likes of Chelsea, Man United, the, the, 
the intensity of the support that we had is, is something to behold. And, but that comes only from putting in a performance and, and giving them something to, to get behind. And uh, it's it's not a given. We, we have to justify the, their backing. And when they see effort, when they see commitment, when they see quality play, then then they back us uh, fully. And um, that's what we need. And, and when we we sense that the crowd's obviously really behind us, then then it's. It gives everybody a boost, and, and you can see it in our play. So we've got to make sure our performance um, is deserving of the sport that we get. Yeah, I think the, the intensity of uh, the atmosphere of Britannia, I think, is acknowledged as one of the, uh, the most intimidated when, when it's in full voice. And uh, I, I love it. I used to like coming here as an opposition manager as well, just because you, you're fully expecting of, of the reception that you get as as manager of. Stoke now. Um, I feel really proud of, of what the crowd produces. It's, it's a remarkable thing to, to behold when, when they're in full voice. You're glad they're on your side. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you. Okay, hold it.